So as promised, here is part two of the baby grandparents' baby book. Um, I wanted to go through my two other books in a part two so I can go ahead and explain to you guys what I have done. I'm going to go through the measurements again because I kept saying it the wrong way. All of my books are from top to bottom are five and a half. From side to side, they're seven, thirteenth, sixteenth. So the covers that with what I purchased, the covers, that's what it measured at. And then all of my pages inside measure the same, um, measure the same five and a half by seven, thirteenth and sixteenth. My, some of my inserts, these little inserts, I call these inserts, measure five by seven. You can make this whatever you choose to make it. That will be your choice. Now, before I go to the school days one, I'm going to go real quick to my um, kind of jungle theme baby book. I haven't put anything here yet. I'm actually going to maybe find one of those little um, plush giraffes or something like that. All the ribbon was ribbon that I have found at a yard sale or I have had in my closet. But I think most of these, the ones that are attached to this book is. So um, I'm just going to turn the pages so you can kind of see. And like I explained to you, as I cleaned my craft room, I found all of these items, all these giraffes and different things. And this is what prompted me to make this book. So All of the pages have different forms where you can put pictures, you can put little notes if you want to. And like I said, most of them I um, add and I just wanted to put it together. Um, I love the animals and I love the pages. I'm going to put this down a little bit. There's a little glare for my light. Um, most of them have like half little half pages um, that was just for decor extra decoration. Most of them have pockets. They're always so hard to go back in though. Um, this one I added a little, little bag. It looks like a popcorn that you got at the zoo. You had some popcorn or you fed the elephant some peanuts. And every book has 20 pages. They have five different colors. No, 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 no. Oh, five different colors and four of each. So that means four blue, four green. So, yes. And this one has a pocket as well right here. And I just inserted this little cutout in there. I just love those little things little pockets, little half pages. This one says, don't feed the animals. And behind it is a big crocodile face. And then um, it just continues on with stickers that I had, cutouts that I had, and just added it to my book. I think it came out so sweet and super cute. This is my zebra page. And then I have another half page here. This was from another page, but I just love this. I kept it. Yes, you can hear an airplane in the background. <laughs> and then um, I love this one where you can just put a picture and put in a pocket. And like I said, if I were to make these for a craft fair to sell, I would probably make them all the same. Which if I'm looking at the baby girl and the baby boy one, they are kind of are the same. It's the school day one that's very different. And some of you are going to say what, what I charge. I put a lot of work into these and there's a lot of paper. And I think I had said between $20 and $25 for sure. It is a lot of paper and a lot of stickers. And some of these stickers are not cheap by no means. Here I just have a pocket with two little cutouts with the little leaves on them and the little monkey in the middle. I love the colors. 
you know I just put these together with a lot of colors like trying to bring out some of these colors here and just you know added a lot of stickers and just use a lot of my stuff from my stash and like I said there's 20 pages but if you really count it double it up that's not counting the front and back covers because those are totally different papers as you can tell this is my back cover and this is my page notice the cutout up here I use it as a half page so the back and front pages are different papers so that was my little boy book in a safari there we go that's the word in a safari look now once again I want to do this again top to bottom five and a half across is 7 13 16 and if you don't have this on your ruler and you don't want you want to double check google it up it will show you exactly a ruler with all the measurements i use five different colors four of each of those colors for blue for yellow for red and then it gave me 20 pages but if you double it up back and front and back it's 40 pages that does not include your front and back covers. Um, you can cut your paper, your other papers to enhance your pages five by seven. You can do four and a half by six and a half. If you're doing a four by six picture, it is your choice. So now for the school days. Um, I love this ribbon. It looks like a, a ruler. This one has numbers and this one is just a black stripe. I was trying to bring this out. School days. Now, some of you are going to ask me, these are the Christmas cards. The numbers that I got in here, you will see, like first grade, second grade, are kind of like those packs that you can buy at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Let me go down the books so I can show you. Some of these cutouts I had a little while. This is just a little paper bag. And then I just enhance my book this way and I'm going to go through the pages real quick so this one says let oh let the memories begin and then this has your first day of school a rainbow of possibilities this actually had a um, this one had a bookmark in it. I don't know what one, but I was going to put a little bookmark in there and I will do that again. And then you have preschool. And here are just some different pages. I've added a little bag to this. And then I have kindergarten and the cards that I bought, these kind of cards, had all of these on there. And I have a little pocket here, a side pocket. Then I just have, I know my numbers and alphabets, and then I go to first grade. And then I'm just going to turn the pages so you can kind of see a lot of pockets and a lot of little nick, nick places to hide stuff in this one. Like art project, writing. Oops, sorry, I'm just going to put this up a little bit so you can see better. And learning so much stuff and I have a little bookmark in here as well and then here's half a page then I have third grade then just another page to put pictures fourth grade and another page to pull out a little pocket pages to put pictures little pages with little pages inside them and then just says I love to read Oops. I love to paint, play outside, and then we have fifth grade. Then I just got some pages, then I have sixth grade, and this is where I want to explain to you what I've done. Uh, a star, student, picture day, and most of these cards came with that patch. It says best friend. Now, after sixth grade, these cards we didn't have any more for seventh grade so i went ahead and used some of the letters that i purchased from the dollar tree use the same insert cards i'm going to call these the little insert cards they're pocket cards and 
pocket cart. And I just went ahead and used my letters and I added seven grade and some of my stickers. And I did that for all of the rest of this book. I made it all the way through. And I just added more pocket pages, stickers, uh, different pages that I had um, for back to school. Um, we can buy the whole pack of back to school. If you go to scrapbook.com, I'm 100% sure they still have it. Award ceremony. And then here is the page for freshmen. And I have a little bag and I have 10th grade with the little pocket and a pocket here. And then I have sophomore and a little half page in the junior and then I have um, oops, friends okay so I'm gonna explain this page as well I don't know if this person would play sport so what I did is that they, in the pack they have all of these cards for football soccer baseball so I just went ahead and added them into this pocket right here just put it all together so if they do play sport and this pocket is extra it's an extra pocket that I added because you notice I have green and green that would not happen because I had all my colors but I wanted to do this because of thinking about grass for sports so I went ahead and put it there and then here is our class party 12th grade then it says hello life and a senior and then the last day of school and then a pair of sneakers and then uh, sunshine and summertime and then uh, just some little pockets that is the last page right here and then the back um, I think this is a cute little gift for someone that you know that would start school I think these would sell really well at a craft fair um, again I think $25 is not a bad price to ask for this because it is thick if you do not have the cards the pocket cards you can actually make your own with any kind of um, index card the plain ones or you can just cut up your paper and make your own um, this is just something that I wanted to do um, I always had the picture frame with all the grades on it but this is something I think I would cherish forever and I think it's a great gift to give to someone that has a kiddo going to school for the first time so I will end part two and I will end the baby grandparents book and I will end this this video with the craft series number three um, I am working on craft series number four so I hope that you stay tuned for that and I hope that you like comment share and subscribe and please remember I bring things home I bring it with love and I bring it to life and on my channel you never know what you're gonna get stay tuned thank you so much happy crafting